Author name, Hick Wolf. Story title, My friend and I were rescued by entities in the Texas Panhandle. My friend and I were rescued from the ditch during a snowstorm by little phantom people. While returning to New Mexico from a visit to my friend's family in Iowa, we were caught in a snowstorm on the Texas Panhandle. We were on Highway 60, right outside a town called Canadian, when we went off the road in this little Honda car. We tried digging it out and using the floor mats for traction, but to no avail. We could see what appeared to be lights of a farmhouse nearby, and although it was 2 a.m., we elected to go knock on the door and see if we could get help instead of freezing to death in a rare Texas blizzard out in the middle of nowhere. A tiny old woman answered the door, and I do mean tiny, four foot something and ancient to boot. We explained that we were stuck and needed a pull out of the ditch and how far to the next town, etc. Her tiny, maybe five foot something, ancient husband came out and said he'd pull us out with the Zuzu and to follow him to the barn. Out in the barn was an old Ford Highboy with a CB radio and a 357 revolver in the front seat pocket. We all climbed in the cab. He rubbed the dash and said, Come on, Zuzu, and proceeded to take us to where we had gone off the road and yanked the little car out with no problem. We made it to Canadian and stayed in the nastiest roach motel I have ever been in and slept on top of covers with all my clothes on. The next day, we drove back to New Mexico with no other incidents. Since I was on Highway 60 pretty regularly, I figured I'd stop in during the day and drop off a gift and say thanks next time I was in the area. The problem is that right outside of Canadian, Texas on Highway 60 near that curve, there is no house. No little old people, no barn, no Zuzu either. I've driven by there a dozen times since we went off the road that night in December. And I've pulled up the area on Google Maps and there's just no trace of them. My buddy and I concluded that guardian angels got us unstuck from the snow and vanished. Personal thoughts. I love positive endings for paranormal experiences. Often all they do is leave people petrified and mystified, but this one, it does sound like you actually were saved. Although it's an odd choice to take the form of small, old people. Or maybe not, maybe, maybe they knew that you would trust them, because they weren't really a threat to you. I mean, it is the middle of the night, in a snowstorm, so you do want to be careful. But all the little details, hmm like having a CB radio, and a revolver too. Hmm. It does make me wonder who they really were. Maybe some kind of spirits. I don't know if they were angels, but whoever they were, I'm very happy that they helped you out and that you're safe. That's our story for today. If you enjoyed it, think about leaving a like on the video, 